What's up everybody? Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today I am fishing from my boat. We are on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River, and uh, we are fishing in extremely heavy current. You guys can see all the foam out there. Uh, it's kind of way back in there. And the floodgates are open below the dam. Now we're not going to go anywhere near that because it's super dangerous. Uh, but right now, TVA, which is Tennessee Valley Authority, they're the ones that control the water flow here on the Tennessee River. And they have all the floodgates open below Chickamauga Dam. I think right now it is 77, 78,000 cubic feet per second. I mean, you can see we're moving right now and it's going pretty fast. So it's been a while, guys, since I've uh, done this type of fishing, fishing in very heavy current. Uh, but we're going to be focusing our efforts on anchor fishing only just because you really can't do any drift fishing in this type of condition. Uh, so we're just gonna do some anchor fishing. I'm gonna focus on some current seams and uh, some different inlet areas, maybe fish a, some down trees and some new spots and so forth. So I got all my anchor rods with me here in the back. Got my big net. So let's see if we can get a fish. All right, guys, we're gonna be using cut skipjack today. Um, it's a really, good bait to use uh, it's typically what I use when fishing for catfish uh, you can usually catch skipjack below dams I have some videos posted uh, on how to catch them but this is what we're gonna be using today we're technically anchored on a current seam I've caught some really nice fish here before and some very heavy current and uh, the boats actually moving left to right a little bit uh, but Anyway, this is what we're going to focus on just for a little bit and see if we can get a fish. So stay tuned. All the rods are casted out. Now all we have to do is just wait for a fish. Oh yeah, that one just got hit. Number one did, fellas, number one just got hit. All right guys, no fish. Oh, oh, now we got one, now we got one. I was about to turn off the camera and say no fish, but as soon as I'm saying that, we get a fish. It's not a big one, but it's a fish. They always feel big in this current though. Did he? Ah, ah. Ah, he's coming upstream, guys. I thought he came off for a second. He's a small one. Nice little blue. Alright guys, nice solid fish, blue catfish, 
in heavy current. He's probably five pounds. So we're gonna go and release this guy. There he goes. Guys, look at all that foam near my motor. That is crazy. And like I said, there's a lot of foam out here. It's just typically when there's high flow, when the floodgates are released, meaning that more water is being pushed downstream, they're releasing more water from the lake on, you know, into the river. So that's typically what happens. But I just thought I'd show you that. All right, let's move spots. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to fish this down tree over here. I'm going to cast my bait as close to the tree as possible because maybe some catfish are holding up in there to get away from this very heavy current. Uh, the con to this is that you'll get snagged more. So that's kind of the price you pay when you're fishing any heavy structure and it's just how it is. So. But well, we're going to go ahead and try. I have my baits pretty much right in those down trees right there. And... Uh, there could be some flatheads in there. Uh, not quite sure, so we'll just have to see if we can get a fish out of here. I don't know. It's definitely worth a try. All right, guys, this is another spot that we're going to try. It's a new spot for me. I mean, I've fished it before, but I haven't caught a fish here, but I'm just learning this new area. We are right past Moccasin Bend, so we're pretty much near Lookout Mountain. I have not been out here too much, so this whole stretch is pretty much brand new. New spot, fellas, new spot. We got a fish. I don't know how big he is. He may be crossed in this line now. First fish in this spot for me. It's awesome. I don't think he's too big, but with this current, they all feel pretty big. He's not too big. But I see him out there. Just uh, fishing close to the bank, guys.
looks like he's wrapped in the other line. Oh, it's not good at all. We are wrapped everywhere. Look at that, it's a nice fish. Between five, uh, between five and 10 pounds. But he is wrapped in everything. Nice fish, guys, in a brand new spot. He's probably, I don't know, he may be 10 pounds. He has a little bit of a chub on him. Nice fish, new spot. Let's go ahead and release him. There he goes. All right, guys, this is our last stop. I fished here earlier in the mid-morning, which is I don't know, a couple hours ago. And uh, I'm hoping to get a good fish here. This is like the perfect slack water spot in this type of current is right here. We're anchored on a current seam, which is why my boat just keeps moving left and right. It's where the fast moving water meets with the slow moving water. And that's why you see all that foam out there. And um, so we're gonna see if we can get a fish here. All these blue catfish love, I mean love the current. So. Now we wait. Oh yeah. Fish on, fish on. It's a small one now. Oh, there he is. Wind is picking up too, fellas. the biggest one of the day, I can't tell. Oh yeah, this one's probably uh, close to 15 pounds. I know guys, my line's all tangled, I see that. I better be careful though, because it's all tangled. I may have to just, uh, I may have to just get the net on this guy, honestly, guys. I don't want to risk using the grippers and losing the fish, so.
Uh, the story of my life today, guys, is I'm getting tangled in everything. It's usually not like this, but with the heavy current, the fish can just easily move left and right and just get easily tangled, so. All right, guys, here's the fish. Uh, he's probably close to 15 pounds, something like that. 15 pounds, maybe. So let's go and release him. There he goes. Back to the depths. All right, guys, we're going to call it quits for today. Uh, just three fish Not a great day, but also not a bad day. So just decent biggest was around 15 pounds, I guess um, But anyway when you're fishing very fast current It's a good idea to look for current seams uh, Where the fast moving water meets with the slow moving water in conditions like this. It's best to focus on areas where a lot of the bait is getting concentrated so that's where you can look for um, right near the bank bridges um, just wherever there's a little bit of breathing room for some shad and other bait fish to roam around that's where they'll be creek mouths uh, little inlet areas um, so it's not bad considering today I've been out for two and a half hours so and it was strictly anchor fishing definitely good to get a a blue catfish in a new spot that i've been trying to work on for quite some time so anyway guys give me a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you guys in the next episode